I got a lot of letters on cryptocurrency. I mean, I dismissed it because it's stupid. And I'll prove it in a moment. But I'm going to just run it down for you fast. So there's a guy named Sam Bankman Freed. Sets up a company in the Bahamas. Bahamas has no oversight at all on anything. And uh, you can do it. If you have money, you can do what you want in the Bahamas. So uh, this guy starts a cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, and people invest in it. All right. And one point four five billion and three billion. That's almost five billion dollars. Money flows into this guy's pocket in the Bahamas. One million people and businesses, including hedge funds, investigate in this FTX cryptocurrency thing. Well, they're all wiped out. There's a guy who was a uh, grifter, okay? And so he'll get charged. He has to get charged. The U.S. government will put pressure on the Bahamians to pick him up. But before it collapsed, Freed and his merry men donated $70 million to the Democrats for the midterm election. 70, second only to Soros. So a lot of the money that investors will never see went to the Democrats. Okay, so this, is, this guy is, he's going to jail probably for the rest of his life because this scam. Now, why didn't I follow this story? Because I told you... Back on February 23rd of this year, what would happen? Go. If you follow my lead, you will not get scammed. I do not do business over the phone. Ever. You want to do business with me? You send me something in the mail so I can see it. I can see the address. I can see the spelling of your name. If you do business on the internet, if you do crypto, if you do any of this stuff, you are exposing yourself to fraud. So I just dismissed it. And I told my brokers, by the way, <clears throat> nothing close. I don't want anything in there ever. Bitcoin, the same thing. Not any of that ever. So they know. So I kind of like, okay, well, you guys got what you deserved. That's kind of cruel. I understand people make mistakes, but please listen to me. Oh, yeah. 